subscribe button and the bell icon so you stay up to date on all things TGB. What are we talking about, Sam? I was trying to do it on my end. That was <laughs> so nasty, bro. That was great. What do you mean? That would sound like something was coming up. Let's be honest. Yeah, his glorious sexiness. I yeah. mean, yeah, maybe the sexy sandwich yeah. he ate at lunchtime. Anderson and I had some fun earlier. <sighs> so, okay. <laughs> this real quick. Someone took the uh, the song The Kill by 30 Seconds to Mars. And the way they have the words now, it says, uh, I want to come. <laughs> Instead of break me down, it just holds out come. That's what I did. <laughs> but yeah, then it's followed by straight minute. But then it's followed by on your face. <laughs> so, anyways, what are we talking about? So, we so can YouTube. Have a discussion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not to say that all was for YouTube. No, uh, take two. Ooh, that video is down. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> oh man. No, for real though. Hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, so you can watch all this shit happen all the time. Because I said shit. Shit. Okay, I was about I, to say. <laughs> what's this for YouTube? <laughs> Take three. All right, YouTube. What's up, y'all? What the Welcome fuck is the going channel. on, Jace? <laughs> Motherfucker. Come no, 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 no. What, what is it? What the fuck is up, Teddy's? <laughs> what the fuck is up, Teddy's? <laughs> <laughs> can, somebody, can somebody click that? <laughs> Mark just joined in. Hello, what is going on? We don't know. We don't fucking know. Yeah, you should know we this by no now. Idea. We are not All right. organized people. <laughs> it's off the rails already. YouTube, here we go. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. Twitch is watching this live. You could too. Twitch.tv forward slash the gaming bunch, boys, or hit the link in the description down below. While you're here, Hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, and stay up to date all things TGB. Sam, what are we talking about? I don't have a burp this time. Damn. Dang. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> we're not going to redo it. We're rolling with it. We're rolling. We're rolling with it. We're, we're rolling with it. Anyway, today we are talking about the glory days, the, the good old times, the, forever, the long, long ago of Xbox Live. I'm not talking about this stupid stuff they had. I really wanted to say the other word on the on the new Xbox stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. It is very functional. It works well. But it doesn't have that pizzazz that it used to on Xbox Live. And what I'm talking about, at least personally for me, I don't know if anybody else is into this, was like the little avatar creator. Like, I don't know if that, if that did it for anybody else, but like, I loved that. <laughs> like I wore Converse's 24 seven on that, like back in the day, like you can have like a little Converse's strapped up, like mm. it was beautiful times. But yeah, that's what we're talking did, about did today. Did you wheel back to show us your feet? Cause you didn't do anything. You no, I, no, I just, I, love that I, went, I went to, Converse's. I, I, I went to like pretend to like strap on some Converse's. But, yeah. But Anyway, that's what we're talking about. So, glory days of Xbox Live. <laughs> What's wrong with us tonight? Uh, uh, tonight? <laughs> that's, you mean every night? That's fair. Our, our entire chat, all those new subscribers we just got, they're coming in here like, what the hell? We need this? a uh, we need a pinky in the brain, like, gif, like, uh, redo of us. It's like, what are we doing today, uh, brain? Same thing we do every day, pinky. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Now I want to ask: Are we talking 360 days? Or are we talking like we're talking that, right? So like, at oh, least oh. for for me, I don't have much experience on OG Xbox Live, and that's because I lived at the house you live in at the time. Um, and back then, there wasn't no cell phone internet. There was just we ba we were lucky to have dial up. I like, barely have internet now. <laughs> you have. Beyond. Your internet is 50 times faster than what I had back in the day. 50? 50? 50. And that's on the low side. 
we had <clears throat> seven we had 768k we had that earth wave earth link excuse me uh dial oh, yeah the internet where if you farted it would actually go out yeah mm -hmm. oh, yeah yeah, yeah. That's fair. so like back then I, there wasn't much you can do and so like if you like look kind of at the history of online console gaming at least um there's really only one to my knowledge uh console that came out with the intention to have internet play back when it was dial-up like back before broadband was like really a thing and I think that was the Dreamcast. It actually came with like a modem, but it was just a dial-up yeah. modem. Yeah, it was a Dreamcast. Yeah. Um, and so like, yeah, so like the Xbox, like the original Xbox, at first, when it first came out, they were like, Bill Gates and whoever else was like, we need to, like broadband's really gonna be the only thing that can support what we want, like our vision for the future. And so, like, and that was criticized at the time because broadband wasn't very widely adopted at the time. And Did so, it like, boom, like, shortly after that, though. It, so, I think it was somewhere in the neighborhood of like 2002, 2003. The Xbox came out in 2001. Gotcha. So, so, something along those lines. So, I don't have a lot. I, I have actually zero experience on the OG Xbox Live. For so me, then we should probably keep it at 360. Yeah. So, for today, we're keeping it at 360. Uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm trying to remember. I think Halo Three was probably my first live experience. Ooh, first live experience for me. I'm gonna have to say the same thing. Yeah, I think it was us together. <laughs> like, I think I was at your house like the first time. That's right. Yeah, because I was still right, living yeah. there, and so like you know. Uh, really xbox live was at your house yep and then i didn't get good enough internet to be able to do anything until we moved to the river house yeah and that was i was 16 16 17 something like that somewhere around there yeah uh, and that we had dsl that three meg internet which that was amazing for me at the time <laughs> i don't know about y'all but like man internet was rough but day. I also remember that when we brought two other Xboxes over and all tried to play at the same time, we were like, land party it is. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm about to say, I mostly grew up on land parties and stuff like that. I'd say my first experience would probably be, yeah, it'd probably be Xbox Live on 360. Yeah. Do you remember yeah, what I game? Be, uh, it was definitely <laughs> Halo 3. Okay. And Halo 3 and Halo 4, I believe, because the first time I ever had an actual, like, we used internet was when I was in college. Oh, and yeah. It's been <laughs> all land parties and stuff like yeah. that. I mean, that yeah, that was our, like, at least uh, Joe and I's experience there for a while was, like, just land parties. You know, I mean, I remember we would. Yeah. Do y'all remember that picture? I almost messed up. Do y'all remember that picture of the guy who's duct taped to the Yeah, ceiling? I was just about to say, <laughs> you're about to bring up the duct tape guy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You remember? I like, see that picture, and I'm just like, yeah, that's pretty much what it, what you expect to go into these places. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you remember Joe uh, yeah, so. setting up like land parties and stuff down in the basement at your place? Um, and we had like every like I brought a TV. I think Steel brought a TV. Um, Biggie yes. B brought a TV. Like, and so like we had four TVs set up. <laughs> yeah. Yep. God, I miss those days of just hauling consoles and TVs. Oh, man. Dude, and those TVs were gonna, not, like, I had a 32-inch <laughs> CRT TV. But, like, 32-inch by these days, like, by these days standards is tiny. But at the time, that thing was huge. And they were heavy. And that thing was well, that's heavy. The front of it was flat, but then you turn to the side profile, and it's this deep. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, you're not just carrying a flat screen. You're just like... I mean, but this is also coming from the group of guys that grew up on the, what, bulky as crap TVs. Yeah. The ones that look like a whole, like, server. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I'm going to critique this, uh, the console stuff for a second. That's part of why, like, truly, LAN parties died when the Xbox One came out, only because they took away the aspect of, like, 
they were like, why play with your friends at their house when you could play with them on the internet? And like, mm-hmm. and all of us were like, because they're my friends. <laughs> yeah, like, but like, we all remember those days. And I don't know, chat, if you remember this, but like, we all remember the days of land parties. And we all remember going and getting like a couple cubes of sodas and basically just going to where well, sodas, snacks, pack of the Xbox into a book bag, cool, pizza, cool ranch Doritos. <laughs> That some Mountain Dew, some Dr. Pepper, some Cool Ranch mm-hmm. Doritos, some regular Doritos, some even some Fritos, and then get a little Caesar's pizza. Mm, and yeah, for the whole night. But then pack up your. Why Xbox. did Google just? <laughs> Google's watching. But yeah, then you pack just, up your Xbox. You just brought and... up little Caesar's. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. You want pizza? Apparently so, Daddy Government. Hi, FBI agent. You know what the fuck? I, what, do me remember, am I looking at y'all right now? Yeah. Yes. Are you having Okay, because on my screen, my eyes are looking up. <laughs> like, I don't know why. Like, I look at my camera and I look over and it's just like. Bah! All right, anyways. I'm, try- I'm trying to look like that lazy uh, chick off of control. My oh, man, is your right arm numb? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no. Yes, no, but for but- unrelated reasons. <laughs> <A> stranger. <laughs> 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 Why you burn my shoulder out? To be honest, yeah. <laughs> I'm a three no time a day left. kind of man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There is no joint left. It is all cartilage. It's all bone. Oh, oh. <laughs> Anyways, but no, we all remember the days of land parties and like being able to get together with all of your friends. Like some of my most fond gaming memories were from being at those land parties just the things we were like the, the crazy crazy times we were having those land parties and I, like it's the turn into the new consoles with the xbox one and especially with the console now you don't want to pack that thing up and take it with you because you more than likely have it wired up as a full entertainment system so you have all these things to unplug but on top of like they were trying to keep it as an in-home unit instead of a pack it up and go you go look at the xbox 360 they're light they're easy to carry a lot of cable uh not a lot of cable management having to take with you like power cord ethernet that's it and like your controller done you take it with you and you literally could put it in one of those little nike bags close it and go like there was no question about it and then when they like i feel like that was part of the whole like experience was the fact that you could literally take it with you so effortlessly wherever you went to go play with your friends. With the exception and of the TV. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, back then that was just, that was nuts. Yeah. But that's I just... How you, that's how we all became cable managing gods because we always had to unplug and replug everything. Ah, the day not, Well, cables. yeah, not, not Joe. Joe is like the cable, like... He's got a rat's nest under his desk right now, and I, I don't even need to Joe see it to see it. Joe knows how to plug in a power cord. That's about it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say it's a rat's nest. I think I only have like two straight cables. That's because sure. this one, this one goes to charging up my mouse, so I don't have that one tied. And then the other one. Man had to prove himself real quick. <laughs> no, because you no no one hundred percent. I'm always the one who doesn't cable manage. That's me. Like. You look at my TV, you look at my computer before I moved it over here where it's at now, like it was bad. <laughs> but now I'm, I'm good. But no, dude, going back to that real quick, I think that that's like, they really took away the aspect of being able to do that. And that was part of the experience is being able to have LAN parties with your friends. I'm curious what, as a great topic or question within this topic, what is your most memorable LAN party that you attended? Uh, it's going to be a tie for me between one of the church lock-ins that we used to go to, uh, at just any of them really, because <laughs> they were always fun. It was always, uh, Halo and then Guitar Hero were the two things that we played like all the time. Um, and then, uh, um, I want to say it, it was a LAN party we went to. I think it was either, uh, Mark's house or James's house. One of the two. Uh, it was like Mark, James, Andrew, Jacob, uh, Mark, Willis. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, 
I, I can't remember whose house it was, but I remember we were there and we had like the, t we had like two TVs set up in the living room and then there was like two set up in the dining room, I think. Um, and it was basically just an all night Halo tournament was the entire thing. I can't remember exactly who, whose it was, but. I'm trying to remember. Was that there? Yep. Pretty sure. I, <clears throat> I genuinely don't remember. I'm, I think you were, you were there. But. Anderson? I would have to say uh, it was in my sophomore year of college. Uh, we specifically decided to have a LAN party, and since I was the only local of my friends group in college, we went to a we went to one of my friends' house where all my other friends from high school were uh, playing around, and we legit had like stations for each console, and like multiple consoles hooked up together. Like we had Wii, the PS2, we had uh, Xbox 360. Uh, I think I think at the time Xbox One was out, but no one cared about that, so we just stayed with Xbox 360, PS3, and all that. We had them all set up, and there was like 20 of us in there just doing different tournaments, like either Smash or Halo or uh, Modern Warfare 2. And we just gamed up like the whole night, and it was we had pizza, we had beer, and everything like that. It, it was a good, it was a grand time. Yeah, yeah. But I think by like six a.m. that morning, everybody was sloshed. Yeah, I, I can imagine. <laughs> uh, so There's some love in uh, chat as well. Kate was saying that Surge used to be her drink, which hey Surge, yo, uh, y'all remember Volt? Yeah. Uh -huh. God, I love Volt. Volt was really good, too. One of the OG energy drinks right yep. there, son. <laughs> Woohoo! You um, want to get cancer? That's how you get cancer. And <laughs> take the bottle and scrape the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> uh, we went to a nuclear plant and scraped the sludge off the bottom of it. <laughs> but it tasted like You'll be fine. Sludge, just drink honestly. it. <laughs> You'll be fine. Just drink uh, it. Yep. You ought to get a little uh, radioactive poisoning. You got metal shards in your drink? Oh, that's... That, man, that's just strap. No, it'll strap that's, your immune system. Just yeah. drink it up. That, that's just to get your iron going. You know, it's fine. Yeah. yeah get um, a little bit of dirt in there. Just drink it. It's, it's good for you. But she also said, um, uh, I used to take my 360 to school and play it on lunch break. We had two TVs, two 360s, and eight people playing Halo on, at one time. We could not have gotten away with that at school, at our school. No, no way. No, no, no. Uh-uh. I got away no with way. it in college. I did not get away with it in high school. Yeah, college makes sense. Like, not our high school, at least. Like, yeah, no, no one cares in college. Yeah, I don't know I what. Legit sat through a whole engineering lectures and just played Skyrim. I don't know what kind of hippy-dippy high school you went to, but God dang. Um, dang, yeah. teachers, you, you either had a really good high school or a really sh crappy one. And we she, went to a high school that legit would kick students out of class if they had a controller, like, with them. Yep. Because yep. they thought they were going to be distracted by the controller. So if they didn't <clears throat> give the controller up like it was a cell phone, they were like, all right, go to the principal's office. And we're like, what do you think we're doing? What? It, what it, I'm going to a friend's house after school to go play games. I, I, I'm not playing Halo on your like your teleprompter projector that you got from 1960 where you put those little like Scantron, not Scantron, uh, uh, what are they called? The little plastic sheets on the right with your little dry erase markers. I ain't playing Halo on that. What do you think I'm doing? I'm sitting here yeah, trying no. out my combos, son. I got to get my uh, BXR going here. I remember <laughs> distinctly having to hide, like if I was going to a friend's house or something, I'd had to hide that stuff in my locker or like somewhere yeah. like people couldn't, teachers wouldn't look or coaches wouldn't look and even then i still sometimes got caught and get given like detention or iss because they would have a random locker search yeah so I, I would just i would, I would just like wait, i would just have to leave it in the car because half the time i'd have to bring my tv uh, and so like yeah, yeah so not, you're not you're yeah. not gonna hide the tv in a locker so, no. yeah. uh -uh. in that case i would just leave it in like before i had my car in high school and stuff like that i just leave it in my mom's car and when she comes by to pick up my sister i grab and go to friend's house yeah uh, but she said, uh, referring back to like our favorite, like memory, um, she said, uh, mine is that one above, uh, being the only girl kicking ass at Halo with a bunch of boys. Also not to flex, but I won $300 at an anime convention playing Guitar Hero. You trying to scrap on some Guitar Hero? You trying, you trying to, you trying to, you trying to, you trying to fight? You trying to battle mode? I got you. No, this ain't it, Chief. This, this is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. I'm a little out of focus. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> All right, so next Saturday, Katie versus yeah. Sam. <laughs> Fight. The gauntlet has been laid. 
Man, that'd be fun to bring that out of the like out of the old dust bin for uh Yeah, out of the dust old challenge theories tournament. There ain't a lick of dust on this motherfucker, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Man just started casually playing through the fire and the flames. <laughs> I said, we don't hear it, but we know what he's doing. No, we heard it for like a split second that it cut out. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Secretly, that's the sound his penis makes, and that, that's why his mic's pointed at his crotch right now. Why do you now. think I'm so good at Guitar Hero? My man, if that's the sound your penis makes, you might want to go to the doctor. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, that's how I play Get bass. some help. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Anyway. Yeah, I was leaving my bass <laughs> comment there. I'm not touching that. <laughs> <laughs> Kate just said in the chat, damn, no wonder Linda's marrying you. <laughs> 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 she married him for that dexterity right there. <laughs> that's a good one. Yes, that's exactly why. Uh, anyway. <laughs> well, now that we're we're about to see Anna, like, we're about to see topic, we're we're about to see Anna Burford <laughs> pop up in the chat saying well, what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's not even going to come in the chat. She's just going to come in the room and start being you. <laughs> Can we just stop saying the word "come" at this point? It's kind of awkward. Like, could you stop using that word? Because this has gone too far. <laughs> yeah. Not my fault you think it's a C-U-M when I'm saying C-O-M-E. Check this Check this episode out on the hub. Um, <laughs> good grief. I would have to say, going back to the topic here, I would have to say my most memorable uh, LAN party would be between two of them. And they weren't solely for the games. I might have told one of these stories before. Um but I'll try and keep it as brief as possible. So one was a lock-in that we attended where uh, we all, for some reason, like when it was time to go to sleep, because everyone was like, all right, go to sleep. And we're like, some of the lock-ins about what are you talking about? Y'all, <laughs> y'all go to bed. We got this. Bye-bye. Sleep but is for the week. I remember I was laying in my <laughs> sleeping bag and i heard all y'all talking and someone said oh snap is that a midget <laughs> and i'm using and i'm saying that i know that's a term that is uh quote unquote offensive so i'm saying that only because that was what the line was said i woke up well woke up i sat up to seeing everyone standing at the window and the reason this is so memorable we had been playing halo all night like that was our go-to we had projectors set up in every room it was great what we saw at four o'clock in the morning was what looked like an old school like toyota the back axle i think it was had fallen off yeah well we heard like a loud like boom yeah we're like yeah, what the, the hell the axle had fallen off and we saw a little person jump out and take off running <laughs> like, no joke witness the crime <laughs> yep yeah like they never came back for the truck like the cops showed oh, up God. and everything it was, in the, it was in the middle of Campbell Avenue. You know Lynchburg, Campbell oh, Avenue, one of the most traveled sense. roads. Literally, like, axle falls off, truck's in the middle of the road, left there. I think the lights were still on. I think the truck was still running. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got out, little, like, straight away and just booked it. Yeah. Yeah, little person hops out and you see, like, gone. That's what surprised uh, me was Campbell. The other, it would be uh, when I attended, it was at the, the Lachlan's house also pronounced Laughlin as we used to, or Laughlin as we pronounce it um we weren't supposed to be there I think this is the story I've told before I may may have you know chat if, you, if I have if you haven't heard this have fun if you have just buckle up for a second uh but the whole premise of the story was we weren't supposed to be there his parents have gone to dinner and having a date night they weren't supposed to be back until like one in the morning and uh because we were under the pretense that they were going to go have a great night <laughs> uh we're sitting there bunch of tv someone went and grabbed their giant tv and i mean giant tv from upstairs and carried it down the steps we get a phone call well actually his brother gets a phone call upstairs from his parents saying hey we're two minutes from the house um we we brought you dinner and he comes trucking down the steps is like they're almost here they're two minutes away we got all the tvs packed up put away that we're supposed to go all the xboxes packed up everything thrown in the car 
And the problem was the car that we rode in was a four door sedan that was tiny. Uh, and there was a TV sitting in the seat that I was supposed to be in. So when we went up the street, his parents passed said vehicle. However, my giant self was clinging to the back of the car laid up against the glass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so but that was a fun night. We actually had a great tournament, um, going on that one. And we had to cut it short because of, uh, because of that mishap but that was the that, that was one time where i was like you know i think i just gave up way too much like i think i've invested too much of my life <laughs> into this because what if we got into an accident and i'm on the back of that car oh like, yeah you would have died i'm dead i'm de there's no question i'm dead i would not be here i'm gone you were not so. thinking that at the time though like at the time no, you were like, this, thinking, this is awesome. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, adrenaline was pumping and I'm just digging my fingers into the trunk hatch as much as I can. Like, oh, help me. <laughs> like, oh, no. But, yeah. Good times. No, the dumb stuff we did as kids. Yep. Jesus. You remember when we used to flex gamer score as well? Oh, God. When gamer score was actually a thing. It still I is. I never flexed it because I never could keep up. Yeah. So, and like, and I was kind of telling Joe this earlier. Um, I did a little bit of digging before the podcast to see because we all remember Gamer Score. Um, and I remember when I used to compete with like my friends over our Gamer Scores are like increasing it every like month. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so I was like, you know, it, it's technically still around. So I was, I wanted to see what the world like the highest amount of uh, Gamer Score achieved is so far, and the back in 2019. The Guinness Book of World Records actually recognized this person um, for the you know highest Xbox Live gamer score. At the time in 2019, that score was two million one hundred sixty-two thousand four hundred and twenty points. Now, granted, you know, imagine, that, the, yeah, imagine the amount of sweat, blood, and tears that went into that score. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, is that uh, is that like, because of course that carries over to your new console. The moment you log in, all your information comes over, and you mm -hmm. know, just keep going. Like, I'm assuming that's somebody who played probably from OG Xbox. Oh, up has to, to have been. I'd be amazed. Yeah. I, I haven't done that much digging into it, but oh so I was, gosh. so I looked up to see where they're at now. Right now, as of filming. They're at 2.8 million, 2,822,084. That's insane. That is insane. So for the record, most games, like actual like disc games back when they were on discs, the achievements total up to be a thousand gamer score. So if you did some quick math, that's 2,000 800 games at least like, that's not factoring yeah. the difficulty in some of those games and achieving that score yep because <clears throat> there's some games out there where like it there's some you, games out there you got to get sweaty to actually yeah get, get the achievements yeah there's some broken controllers in there also that's somebody who definitely draws in the lines because the amount of burner accounts we've gone through on playing xbox because we either got banned or couldn't remember our login or, yeah. or mine whatever, was like mine was my dad didn't want to pay for it and yeah. so like i had to as i got games they used to have like a month free of xbox live in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so like i'd do that but it had to be with a new email account and a new account every single time you couldn't stack it up and so like for a while you know like uh i can't even remember what my first one was but i remember at one point i decided sam just happened was a good idea uh and then my most recent yeah. one was soggy cracker which is why my name is soggy cracker <laughs> on Twitch because that one's just stuck with me since 2009 I think <laughs> like, yep. was I think the last time I had to do that yeah I've had a bunch Ooh. of accounts banned under my uh, e well, makeshift emails and stuff like that because I just be going there and be toxic for the fun of it uh, so Kate in chat is saying when I got to college I had a tiny TV I would gently place on the end of my bed on the top bunk to play Skyrim and I would pray it wouldn't fall off I have a little bit of a story with that too so when I, I used to get that. when I used to get grounded my dad would take the plug to my TV. Not my Xbox, not my PlayStation, just the TV. That's smart. <clears throat> he thought so. 
it was <laughs> it did not work <laughs> so we also had my dad um i'm sure i'm sure a lot of people here have heard of the show storage wars uh yeah. where people go and like bid on stuff my dad used to do that before there was a show about it um like he would just do it for fun and so like the, the og yeah like um and because those have existed for a long time um and so he would just do it for fun like yeah let's see what we can get maybe we can flip some stuff or get some cool stuff out of it and so like i remember like my first set of magic the gathering cards were from a storage locker uh i wish i kept them because those things are very expensive now and i am kicking myself for it but let's move past that so i don't cry um but so tell uh, me how you feel so when one of the things are like uh, a lot of the time uh what would happen is there'd be like kind of small tvs in there i'm talking you know like 12 to 14 inch little crts and so we had like three of those in the garage and so like i went went out one day and also we had one from we had a camper when we moved from california to virginia and there was one that we had took out of there and it was just in the garage and so i grabbed one of those and i put it in the closet at the foot of my bed because like i uh we had like a like it was a sliding uh garage or garage closet door and then there was like a little alcove in the back and i had like a little like wire stand that was like my dresser right i would set that tv on top run an extension cord and have my playstation in there and so like you know i'd like go to bed and then i'd just be sitting there like no volume like just playing like SSX or Go Squad or something like, or X Squad, excuse me. Um, but yeah, <laughs> sorry, that's my little aside. Let's see, that. we want to talk about <laughs> like uh, cards and stuff like that. I still have my childhood collection of cards. Be some money there. That, <clears throat> that's a whole. Jeez. Yeah. Let's see if I can get it in there. Well, there's some money in there. Oh god, it's heavy too. It's about like five pounds. Yeah. Let's all just hit ourselves with the fact that we should have kept our Pokemon cards too. Uh, my friend still has my deck of Pokemon cards that is twice as big as what I just showed you. I gave mine to my step, my oldest stepsister. I wonder if she still has them. Probably. Not. Let's be honest. Probably. I mean, she's in New York. With how much? With how much you can sell them for today? They're gone. Yeah, I'm just yeah. waiting. I'm just waiting because when I get like six, I'm gonna be like, "Here, kid, use this. You're instant millionaire. Have fun." No, uh, I was like to go back to the uh, gamer tag thing though. Um, I'm trying to remember all of mine because I had you had a you lot. had some wild ones, didn't you? I did, I did. So I had uh, uh, <laughs> this is judge me. My very first one was when I was in middle school band. That's when Sam and I met. <laughs> It's Band Boy 14. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought it was 13, but eh, whatever. I'm, no, pretty sure, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was oh, Band no, Boy 13. No. It was 13. I made it 14 when I was on RuneScape because I couldn't remember my login to RuneScape, so I had to make a new one. Oh, okay. And 13 That's was taken, was. so I had to make 14. That's right. So, uh, Band Boy 13, because uh, at the time I thought 13 was my lucky number. I'm like, oh, God, to do that. Oh, God, oh, God. No. Whatever. Um... Let's see. Bandboy13. Uh, <clears throat> Bro with the fro. B R O W I F D A F R O. Bro with the fro because I had an afro. Uh, oh, then there's the one. Yeah. I was wondering if you were going to bring that one up. Should I? I mean, mm. I'll let Anderson decide. It's not like yeah, TOS or can, anything. It's yeah, not like bad. It's not TOS or anything. Like, yeah, you can bring it up. It's just, don't judge him for this chat. I'm not going to tell you the story behind why I got this name. This name did not spawn from a gamer tag. This name spawned from a band that Sam and I played in. And it stuck. For a while. Forever. Um... My gamer tag was ten dollar Carter. <laughs> the story you let your imagination run wild. I'm not telling that story on here. Sorry. Yeah, not no, that happen. story would definitely violate to you. <laughs> yeah, it that would not that would not sit well with any any kind of <laughs> guideline. Oh lord. Windows and chat saying, I'll tell the story. <laughs> no, no, no. 
Um, but ten dollar Carter became uh, so when I joined on, I actually uh, so I was doing MLG gaming at one point in time, uh, and that's when I had to change it. I was on Team NSA, which is Nightshade Alliance, and uh, I had to change it. And at the time, we were trying to figure out what we were going to do. Like we had NSA Phoenix, NSA, uh, NSA, NSA Phoenix, NSA. Uh, Blade Wing, NSA, something or other. There was a whole team of us. And our buddy Rucker, Uncle Ruckus, if you remember him, Sam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. he, he is a very, very amazing, but it, you think I am always energetic? This man is like on 20. He's like if you, you, if you were on like Adderall all, t- all the time. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent, without a doubt. Um, and this man gave a full breakdown as to why this name fit me, so I became NSA Dark Brother. Not gonna tell that story either. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you should. No, no, I shouldn't. Um, and then that became because uh, I watched Dragon Ball Z all the time. That became uh, Dark Brother Zero DBZ, and then Dark Brother Zero became Thick Cut Bacon when I got my Xbox uh, One because I was like, I need something else. I need a different name at this point. And I was like, and I think but I had Dark Brothers here for a while on there. And I was like, I think they ran this thing where like, you can change your gamer tech for free if you want to. I'm like, hmm. Oh yeah. And remember Chad, this is during the time when gamer tags and stuff like that weren't really regulated. Although they did. You know? So if you look back um, again, I was doing some digging. Um, originally, Microsoft was coming under fire, um, <clears throat> and I and I can kind of understand their original decision on this, uh, and they've since updated it. But if you had put anything about sexual orientation in your gamer tag, they wouldn't allow it. So, like, if you had said like gay, straight, anything like that, yeah. it would be well, maybe straight wasn't, but like you know, gay, lesbian, bi, you know, anything like that. Um, and they were originally saying it. We're doing this because we don't really have a way to regulate this. Uh, but they've yeah. since split that decision, which, I mean, it's good. I mean, I don't think, like, yeah, people are going to, you know, mess with it all the time, but it's up to the community to kind of report as as it goes uh, yeah, based I off of context. Some, uh, I definitely had some past usernames that uh, definitely contributed to that problem. Yep. Uh, we have some beautiful first uh, gamer tags in chat, by the way. Mama Stranga said hers was Punk Princess 420. <laughs> Uh, Always 420. That's what you yeah. know you're dealing with. If you see that gamer tag on anyone, that's what you know you're dealing with someone like OG. Yep. Uh, and then and 69. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Kate's was uh, Dark Flower 91 or something. She said. Uh, I love them all. No offense to them, but I love that all of them are just like emo girl tags. <laughs> uh, and then she said uh, she used to be just a drop of rain for like 12 years. Uh, but that's an interesting one they also said kate said i'll give 10 subs right now if you tell the story which story the yeah. i think the ten dollar one that, that might be All a right. little Hang after on. story we, can, we, can we do an after story of that one yeah yeah no so I, i'm gonna leave this to sam and anderson this one <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, Linda chimed in with hers. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I forgot she told me this story. <laughs> if we want to talk about first, mine was lap dance 007 <laughs> because that's my initials and I did cheer. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> So I wonder, Linda, with that username, did she constantly get hit up when she was playing games? I'm assuming. Well, that wasn't really so much of a gamer tag for her. That was like Instagram and stuff like that, I oh, think. Yeah. Because okay, okay. she wasn't like much of like, you know, her her gaming experience is more like Nintendo, like Dr. Mario, like stuff like that. Oh, like Nintendo. Uh, oh, no. She said oh, no, it was uh, AOL, actually. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, I can't Some... even say my youth names because most of them were violate TOS. <laughs> so, <clears throat> Anderson, I fully agree with you. We'll save that story for after. However, I'll let y'all determine how many gifted subs 
As I did the night that I was doing the drunk stream, and I said 50, 50 gifted, and I'll rap on stream. How many subs do y'all think it would take? Especially knowing how colorful said story is. I mean, it's how much. It depends on how you say it. Yeah, I, I feel like parts I'll, of it could I be will, watered down. I'll make sure that I water it down enough that we don't violate TOS. Yeah, that thing, in case, I think 20 would be sufficient enough for that. So 20 from the whole chat? All right, Sam, what do you say? I concur. 20 gifted from the whole chat, and I'll tell the story once we're done. That means YouTube sucks to suck. You need to tune into the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're missing out on, YouTube. <laughs> Join us on Twitch. Uh, t I forget the tag handle. Twitch.tv forward slash Gaming Bunch Boys. There you go. You can tell there who you. doesn't stream out. here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. So, hang on. Internet's freaking out. Yeah, and we're back. All right, cool. So, yeah, 20 gifted. It's family gifted. friendly. Jesus. 20 gifted and I'll do it. <laughs> Kay said 20 subs? Ugh. Mama Strike said, are we setting up a reward system for this story? What do you mean by a reward system? <laughs> what? What? Like, hey, I'm, hey, I'm, what? I'm trying to play. Like, this is, uh, <laughs> I don't think this story and reward system work too well together. Nope. Nope, 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 The only reason y'all say this is because y'all know the context of the story. Yep. Yes, 20 subs total. 20 gift the total. Not 20 from each person. 20 gift the total. Yes, 20 gift the total. Uh-oh, I think it's going to happen. I, th oh, I think no. Kate, and Kate and Linda are about to split it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> but anyway, that's again after podcast stuff. After. Let's yeah. get back to no Xbox, the topic. Head. Yeah, yeah. Back oh, to Xbox. my God. <clears throat> that, was, that was quick. Oh, that's a, I should also uh, I should also go ahead when uh, after stream go ahead and show all my old consoles and stuff because I actually have them set up. You do. You do. I have two of them down here. You can see that's the my original Xbox. It's a Halo edition. And I have a PS2. Or uh, sorry, original PlayStation right there. Oh, the big bulky one? No. Well, no, yeah, yes. So n not the slim. Hang on. It's not okay. actually plugged in. Hang on. Well, while he's getting mad, I will say I didn't keep any of my old consoles because at one point in time I was trying to like buy classic consoles is like a oh you got the ps1 <laughs> yeah like original Dang. playstation yeah in fact if you look closely i might have to focus it uh hang on let me try you to get some audio to come stains. so now i actually for some reason decided to like write my name right here let me see if i can get this to focus i'm sorry there it is yep yep yep, yep. <laughs> yeah so you can as you can see now my camera's backwards but you got sam no, right we there. see it just fine. Yeah. FAM on our end. Oh, okay, gotcha. It's backwards on my side. But yeah. Let's see. Dang. Yeah, I have to go through and show, show my whole setup and the games with it because, oh boy, the games just take up a self by itself. All right, let's get yeah. this out of the way. Kate, thank you so much for the 10 gifted. Yeah, I mean, I we really do appreciate it, but, you know, we got to gotta yell at you a little bit. But, so... I thought 20 would have been high enough. <clears throat> yeah, no, well, well, he said it, so that's 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 the, that's the bet. Well, that's only 10. That's only 10. That's only Eight. 10. Yeah, come on. We yeah. love you, but why? <laughs> why? I just love how like off centered you are in your frame right now. It's amazing. <laughs> it's hard yeah, to do yeah. this with the Logitech app. Okay, get off my fucking yeah. back. <laughs> I'm just no, I'm not. I'm not ragging on you. I'm saying it's just like it's like you're sitting here like hello. <laughs> Like, and that was kind of cool. No. Eh, eh. Hello. <laughs> we're off the rails. Okay, we're gonna get back on topic here. We are off the rails. People watching we're, on YouTube are gonna be like, "What the hell are these guys doing?" We're always off the rails. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I hate you, Sam. I, I sold. I actually sold all of my old consoles because I used to keep them as like decorative things, like on a shelf. Like Sam has his PS One. I just like I got out of that because like. And, and to each their own. I'm not saying anybody you shouldn't do it or should do it. It's up to you, really. But like, I I just didn't feel 
compelled to keep them because to me it's like what one thing i've learned over time is like if i have something that someone could get use out of i'd rather them go ahead and be able to get it than me keep it yeah so. i i was kind of in that boat for a little bit i ended up keeping the playstation forever and i'm not quite sure why i think it was just like stuck in storage and i didn't have a chance to like get rid of it but so the xbox it's not my original xbox so this one it's the exact same edition i can't remember what happened to the original one to be honest with you but um this one i bought from a guy um uh, uh, an old friend of mine or of ours uh, master spaghetti as we called him uh helped me track this down it was a guy that like will take original xboxes and mod them to where you can you know play whatever the hell you want basically uh, get the um, unlock xbox yeah, yeah now so this one is not i specifically requested one that's still factory sealed um and he was like yeah i just happen to have one actually and he was like oh, cool. yeah, and so um uh, 50 bucks got that yeah. so uh, it's well worth it in my opinion yeah i did for my xbox 360 i did it on my own and unlocked it and everything like that mm. and it never red, red ringed and all my consoles i kept because i'm just a hoarder like that whatever yeah but uh <laughs> i still love it because on my original xbox 360 i still have a version of borderlands 2 where I, uh, me and a friend completely cracked it and all of our damage all of our guns and all of our guns do like the max amount of damage so like 999 oh 999. yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then like all their stats are uh like beyond what you can out. actually get yeah yes. <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just completely cracked and we straight up we tested it we went to like the last like the biggest boss there was in uh borderlands 2 which i think was crawl max or crawl max the sun and we killed it in 12 seconds dang that's impressive <laughs> That is not an easy yeah. fight on its own. Like, no, yeah, we were just kids That's... and we were just like, yeah, let's just backwards ass program this whole thing. I just had a memory hit me that was like in the depths I of my brain. Saw it looked yeah. like you just had a angelic experience. Do y'all remember the libraries you could get for your Xbox? <laughs> Yep. Oh yeah. Like the, uh -huh. the full custom layout stickers that you could get. Oh my dude, that bro bro oh that just oh, threw me God. back you remember when you could actually get skins for your consoles yes you still kind of can no one does it uh there's one company that i know of that does and they really? so i have bought some stuff from them for my phones uh and you see them sponsored on a lot of like the tech reviewer uh channels uh, but Are it's you a, talking about like a was it D brand? D brand. D brand will yeah. do PS uh, PS five and Xbox uh, series stuff. Um, they also <laughs> they they're the most. When she said that I was just like this man watches Linus Tech Tips. He's probably talking about D brand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Linus Tech Tips, MKBHD, like all of them basically. Yeah. Uh, but they also like interestingly enough somehow and I don't know if they're getting sued for this or not, but they kind of made a joke about it, so it might be true, but. They made, uh, so you know the PS5 is white and then black in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. They, so those white panels you can pop off. And so D Brown made black ones that fit factory right in there. And it looks sick, looks really good. But I don't know how that's not copyright infringement. <laughs> but, well, I yeah. mean, so not to derail the topic, but. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't see how that would be copyright infringement because that goes back to like unless there's some sort of footnote in some contract somewhere when you get your console that says don't do this but like uh, that would I be can, like going back to the days of uh, where you could get uh, custom panels on the front end. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm not I sure. I can answer that one. Uh, when you do that and you like remove the panels and stuff like that, and then like say something wrong happens with your console or anything like that, it voids the warranty or anything you have on it. Because once you do that, but that's your decision. Say, yeah, it's your decision, but it also voids the warranty. So that means you can't send it back to the manufacturer to fix it or stuff like that. Same with laptops and stuff. That's why they have that little thing in there. And there, when you open it, when a technician opens brings it up and they have a little uh if you move the sticker or scratch or anything like that it voids a warranty so this is where i know along the same lines yeah so and i agree with you that's it's along the same lines but i think this is the gray area so 
on the PS5, that's not what actually opens the console. So there's no factory seals on that. Oh, is all it just, is is a, a cosmetic plate. It's a cosmetic plate. That's all it is. So I think that's how they get away with it. But like their entire marketing was like, at Sony lawyers, don't add us, <laughs> like or something like that. Like uh, they went like real aggressive with it. Like tr just try and say, sue you're us. Do that. Like don't D brand is that kind of company. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like they'll be like they do not care. Like I remember I ordered a skin. I think which one was it for? It was for one of my Samsungs. I think it's one you. Ha uh, I let you borrow Joe actually, but they. Uh, their whole shtick is like robots made it and not humans and eventually robots are going to take over the world it's like this weird little kind of backstory thing they have but uh they um drew, they on a sticky note drew a robot with a middle finger up and it was <laughs> and, I, and it was like from like robot like 116 or something like that and i was like this is cool i like this <laughs> like, see it's these companies yeah. that i just think like there's someone with my mindset at the head of this company and that's scary and awesome at the same time, time. yeah <laughs> like, anyway let's get back to to xbox <laughs> yes yes oh my god but so I, I i know i mentioned it at the very beginning with them uh, them avatars though we need to bring back them avatars oh man i love custom they still have them, i mean they still kind of have them but like i don't I, they're not they, they don't feel the same they really don't. I mean, I have one for my gamer profile on my Xbox, it, but it yeah. does, it's not the same as 360. Yeah, they, I think they changed kind of like the overall like look and aesthetic of them. And now you can get yeah, like crazy did. stuff for them. They removed a lot of the custom stuff you could uh, get for them when you had the 360. You can't use them anymore. Yeah. But I remember I, I liked, I mean, I probably spent a couple hours <laughs> just customizing mine, you know? Yep, I have too. I mean, currently my one uh, is the Anthem skin, which I spent a whole lot of time doing that. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> yeah. Rip that game for being complete uh, trash. I'm really trying here, guys. Good job, Anderson. We're proud of you. <laughs> we are proud. Yeah. Gold yeah. star for Anderson. <laughs> I'm going to mute real quick. I got to get it out of my system. <laughs> <laughs> Just reading his lips right now. I'm just like, I'm gonna blur his yeah. mouth out. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> yeah. Just, just full blur. Oh man. No. Um. Something funny. I remember back in the day because Sam, you actually reminded me of this. Uh, when you were saying that you would get new games and have to use like the month long uh, subscription pass for being able to get Xbox Live. Mm. I remember when we worked at GameStop, and I worked there for the holiday season, so I didn't work there long. Uh, <laughs> I remember. I remember uh, that there were times where we would have to give out, like the, like the companies would send us subscription passes. They didn't come in the box. They were, it was like for the midnight releases and such. And we would forget to give them out. <laughs> yep. And we'd be like, all right, y'all line up. Who's getting some? Come on. Get yeah. <laughs> and I mean, we literally, I remember there was one time I, I didn't pay for live for like an entire year because of that. Like, yep. I I don't I mean, think I, I don't think I paid I, for live at all while I was working at GameStop. I mean, it, that was what, and also, do you remember the days uh, when they had the cards you would buy? They still have them. They still have those in the store you can buy. But back in the day, they wouldn't have the activation happen on purchase. The code was already active when it showed up yep. to the store, mm -hmm. oh, and people yeah. walk and snatch them right off the shelf and go, and it's like. What do you want us to do about this? We can't do anything about this. Like, yeah. You really couldn't. I mean, well, what we ended up. Lie. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, well, I was saying, not going to lie. I, I did that a couple times. Yeah. I mean, what we like, ended up. I was just flat broke. I went in. I was just like, Yeet. yeah. What, <laughs> what, what, walked up the store. Yeah. I what, mean, statue limitations, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, what we ended up resorting to, and I don't think that's really stealing technically, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, what we ended up resorting to is like whenever, a new, like, you know, we would put the box out for a new game most of them ended up staying sealed in the drawer uh, but like that one that we had to put the box out we would take the paperwork along with it and put that in the drawer and that was like the last copy that we would sell or that's like the one that we would check out like so because GameStop I don't know if I, I probably mentioned it on here I'm fairly certain I did but we had a policy where you could borrow games as an employee uh, for like four days um, and so like that was kind of like manager discretion on whether or not like a new game could be checked out but Roby didn't care. <laughs> so like yeah. Uh so he uh he's just like Craig yeah, didn't either. Yeah, Craig didn't either. Um and uh actually none of my managers. No, one did. The very last one. What was his name? 
Mark. No, not Mark. This is when I transferred to Old Force. Oh, I don't know. I remember Roby, Craig, and Mark. Um, All, Mark, Mark no, tried not, and Mark no. realized, like, I can't rope these guys Sorry, in. Sorry, not Old Force. <laughs> not um, when I transferred to Ward's Road. Um, the one over by Coldstone. Okay. Uh, Tony, Tommy, the, the I can't. Tony, remember. Tony, yeah. T you mean? The, oh. Yeah, I know. Yeah, don't you mean the guy whose yeah. wife threw his. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. <laughs> yep. Should I, should I say it? I mean, it's or just whatever. It's you're already halfway there. So. Whose wife threw his uh, Optimus Prime like limited edition like giant statue out the window? Oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh my God, that is some straight up nerd stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, this dude had a an Optimus Prime statue, like, like limited edition, and she was just like, yeah! like and he, said, <laughs> he had this statue in the days before body pillows. Let's go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. He probably had Man. the first body pillow. <laughs> dude, oh. I remember. Um, I remember back in the days of playing on the old Xbox, and like. I, so I don't know if they still have them because I mean I, I have like I've got my custom controller right here. <laughs> she like, said Autobots roll out. <laughs> Jesus. Yikes. Uh, yeah, custom controller game. That's it. That's it. But like I remember back in the days when um what was it? Um I think it was Mad Cats who created the controllers, but the ones with the the LED lights in them. Mm -hmm. And like you can get the red ones or the green ones or the blue ones. Like they were trash controllers, but otherwise they looked dope. <laughs> like, they were so terrible. Yeah, it was like that. Yeah. It was exactly like that. Why do you still have that? <laughs> because leave me alone, dude. He made me use that one night when I had to go record at his house. I oh want to tell my you right now. god! I had to play Apex on that controller. I had to play Apex Legends on that controller. You want to talk about trash play, dude? I couldn't do any. But he don't. And, and, there and kept it is. OG with me. What? The remaining ten have been gifted by the lovely, beautiful Anna Burford. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yep. So, quick shout out to Ket Switch Switch Swayater. I don't know how to pronounce that. Oh, it's family friendly. Uh, Caden, not K Caden. Dylan Jones two nine zero five. Sleepyhead underscore MP four. Lats cry. That's Cree? I don't know. Cruzy00, zero, zero, Fuse44, Lucas VN, Heiser New, and Trazok. Welcome to the game. Did you shout out the up. first pin? I think I did. I can go back and redo it. Uh, no, I did not, actually. So let me go back. For the other 10, we have Pablin X5, uh, Arb Nordu 695, you Yusei's Waifu. Oh. Uh, that's so uh, <laughs> Ali Uxel Ux 3L. I don't know. Some of these are hard. <laughs> Buddha brought, but a brought. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> what? Budapest? What are you trying to say? Buddha brought is, is what's there. B U T T A H B R O T. But B R O T. Oh, Buddha, 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 Buddha. <laughs> Big bad beetle brood. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we have LOL I police open up. This is one of them. <laughs> I could make several jokes about that, but uh, I'm not going to because family friend. Holland Ho 222222. Uh, Wheezy Twitch, Invader, <laughs> Invader Zims, and uh, Roxy Roo 09. You know well, what? I'm not even mad because Invader Zim, good show. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Gary hopped in the chat too saying, yo, what? So yeah, we made a deal. Um, did, Gary knows about $10 Carter, doesn't he? No? So there's a story referencing the name $10 Carter. Um, you might have heard from Tyler at some point. I don't know. But anyway. Um, yeah, we'll get to that after yeah. we're done with the YouTube. Video. So the deal was we had to do 20 subs or they had to gift 20 subs in order for that story to come out. And so now it's coming out. But that's going to be after we're done with the podcast, which will be in here in a few. So. Yeah, but, uh, uh, back to the uh, controller that you were saying, uh, Joe. Yes, no. Uh, so 
uh, real quick, I had to use that controller, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it like this. Uh, Anderson was a G about it. I had no disrespect towards him on this. I I can't I can't disrespect him for this because it was my goof. I left this at home when I had to go record at his house one night, and we had and I was playing a game that I was not comfortable using K and M on yet. I was I was still getting accustomed to K and M, and I was also playing on my laptop that Kate is so graciously using right now that she purchased hope it's working well for you um so i wasn't comfortable playing kingdom on that so i get there and i went f i left it at home and he goes i got a controller for you and i'm thinking i'm thinking he's gonna give me his red and black one he walks out with the mad cats control <laughs> <laughs> and he just sits it next to me and i went are you serious he goes what you forgot yours what i'm like <laughs> I can't say anything. You're right. I legit okay. went like gang style and I was like, <laughs> what, you gonna say something? I'm using my controller. I got this extra one, you get this one. You ain't using yep. my good controller. Yep. It's like <laughs> the player two days when you are always using the better controller and then you give your friend the crap one. Yep. Yep. It's like the one I mean, that has like you, the, the thumbstick that's like broken off. I mean, I could have given him the PS2 controller that the right side was completely I'd have cried. I did it. <laughs> I'd have cried. <laughs> Joe, yeah, didn't you the, didn't you for a while have one like I remember I, I distinctly remember coming over to your house one time and like uh, I think I forgot my controller kind of same deal like this was a long time ago but you had one the thumbstick was legit broken off to where it was basically just the damn yeah. ball and that's oh, what God, I yep. used on Halo no it wasn't the ball it wasn't the ball that I so it had a little I, bit of a stem but so like the top I, mushroom part was broken off yep I Man, this could be may or may not have spiked my controller at one point in time oh i don't doubt it and when i did continue oh, I'll, I'll bring it up uh, it, that reminded me of something else i was said in chat earlier fair i spiked my controller and i remember when i watched it like i went boom and when it hit it hit like this like it hit like this so uh or no excuse me like god this, this dang one. Mr. 176 Corleone jumping in on the hype with another five gifted. Great. Bro. Now I get, what not, what I is going on right now? now? I hate this. What is going on? Bro. Thank you what? so what? much to everybody, of course. Seriously. I mean, thank all y'all for your generosity, but also at the same time, like. Guys, that's yeah. 30 gifted in one night. What is going on? On a podcast. <laughs> On the podcast. On the podcast. On the podcast. On the podcast. God damn, on the boy. podcast. On the podcast. God damn, I'm going to go get some corn. Thank you, everyone. Now Thank that you. you've done that, Gary, have you have screwed up, my it. friend. Ladies and gentlemen, everybody, twitch.tv forward slash 176 Corleone. Go there right now. Hit the follow button and gift him tier two subs right now. Please. So we can tier two subs. It is. 80 something degrees in this room right now good okay. lord but, what the hell dude uh, i know you said that your refund finally hit but god dang wait was there another refund uh no his tax um, oh, oh i thought we were getting another stimulus check mr like, 176 corleone with the 1500 biddies why <laughs> thank you <laughs> but why <laughs> Why do we have to have? Why do we have to have these come to Jesus meetings with uh, with all of our followers? <laughs> we love you. Why? You're taking hey, away. You know what that means? Because now I gotta go support y'all. Stop it. Hey, hey, you know what that means? That just means bigger and better prizes for y'all in the Challenge Series tournaments. That's exactly what that means. Yep. I am currently sweating. It is that hot in here. So, to finish the story, the controller landed like this. Because I remember it was this thumbstick. The controller landed like this, and I watched this piece, the mushroom cap, detonate across the room. <laughs> and uh, from then on, I had a controller that if anybody came over to play and they forgot their controller, they would have to use the thumbstick that's like stab you every time you play. Uh, that thing hurt. I think I might saw this. Yeah. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> it would be, especially if like you were sweaty when you were playing like uh like, and I don't mean sweaty as I'm like Anderson right now, but I mean like like nose prints on the monitor you said it not me 
nose prints on the monitor. Like I you would literally mad. I was see. Just disappointed. <laughs> hey, it was the only thing I had at that point. Bad. Uh, you would see. You would see like an indent in your thumb. Yeah. From that. Mm-hmm. Just like a bright, like bright, like dark red, like just like all right mm-hmm. here, like ugh. Yep. But man, those were the days. Those honestly, like console gaming changed. I was about to say the much. days when you actually bled to play your games. <laughs> yeah. Like it, console gaming just changed way too much since then, man. I feel like I would still have a console today if we still had that kind of like that kind of energy being dumped into consoles where it's like you it's not just about get it and then download your games on the place where and play with your friends online and that's really like the main focus of why they do this i feel like we would have such a much better experience because if you think about it, like we went from that and then jumped to the xbox one with a brand new like play style and brand new mentality to playing and all this other stuff like they tried to they literally tried to like change the world with their console. It's like, why? We, we yeah. enjoy what we have. It was, it was like, a lot more fun when you did like LAN parties or just did like in-person gaming instead of this new style, which is just just disconnected. You yeah. lose so much of the human aspect of, with it. Yeah, I mean, and it can be fun in certain scenarios, but you know, like it's, it's just, it's not the same. And yeah, but being with your friends and then hopping into an Xbox Live uh, chat and just like everybody's cussing or saying they'll uh, bleep your mom or calling you specific racial slurs. It's just not the same. Yeah. Well, and but <laughs> what I never did that. Yeah. To be honest. <laughs> Have you never been in an Xbox Live uh, like party in like mo- oh, Modern yes, Warfare? Oh yes. Yeah. That I was never <laughs> one to partake. I just heard a lot of stuff. Oh no, I didn't part. Well, no, I can't say that. I did partake. It was fun. <laughs> um, what God. I think. What I think we're missing out of this though. It's not all bad some of the like there's there's a lot of good stuff and what i think like it really brought out was xbox live at first was a way to get together with your friends without actually having to lug your 300 pound crt to their house (laughs) right and so like same time lugging your 300 pound like uh, plasma screen tv it made you a better man i mean character building yeah yeah put your put some hair on your chest you know what i'm saying but yeah man (laughs) Take the color in between. That was our answer to everybody, all the all the boomers out there who were saying like, all these gamers are gonna get fat and disgusting. They they're not getting any physical motivation to go out and work out. Three hundred pounds. TVs across. (laughs) I'm holding it like thirty pounds up the state. (laughs) We're literally sweating the pounds away as we're carrying giant TVs up and down stairs in the basements that aren't even finished just to go play Xbox and then drink a whole case of Dr Pepper in one sitting while we sit there and throw controls at each other because two o'clock in the morning and we're tired of everybody's shit that's what how we got our uh physical to say bro work i went from stuff. one gaming session literally sweated out the doritos nacho cheese and mountain dew on the way there the oh. fucking tv and then i got there and replenished myself and then sweated it going back home <laughs> yep but Dude, I, oh, the, ahead, I was gonna say the i think what that turned into was to have these moments in which you could become friends with people outside of that circle to potentially places all over the world like so there's that so i mean maybe not quite as close of course but i mean there are people out there that have developed lifelong friendships and even like full-on relationships because of stuff like that because of what xbox live has turned into and like you know now it started back in the day but you know that's kind of what it's evolved into and i think that's something that we can't really take for granted you know it's we got to see the good in that yeah i mean i'm glad I'm, I'm glad it's where it's at nowadays because so much change and so much things have happened with it that it is the positives do outweigh the negatives but at the same time just speaking for myself remembering the good old days and like going back there i do some kind sometimes kind of miss miss that like uh that effect it had or yeah that uh anything like that because i mean i mean that that built stronger relationships at least for me with the friends and stuff i did it with back then than any kind of relationships i have now with friends and stuff that are just purely online yeah mm-hmm. well i would say and and to add to that like what what they did and this is why i say they jumped too fast because we all lived through that era 
like we all lived that era and then it transitioned directly to instead of instead of kind of morphing into this like plane of you know meeting more friends online and playing more friends online like think about basically the, what they did was if you remember back in the day you had your core group of friends that you would play with at your LAN parties and you had the and, and then occasionally some of those friends would bring in other friends that had never played before it was almost like welcome to the brotherhood like let's see if you can hang pick up the sticks and let's see how well you do yeah. like you know and it, we, we really didn't care about KDs back then we didn't care about all this other you know garbage of uh a like lot of what's focused on today we, yeah we didn't mm -hmm. focus on stats what we focused on was we're gonna trash talk the hell out of you we're going to make you want to like spike your controller into your tv let's see how well you can hang because yeah and if you want to like, fight it, let's go we're gonna fight but then at the at the end of the fight we're gonna sit down and game again exactly I can tell you right now, I've gotten into some shoving matches over some games. Might sound childish and corny, but I got into some shoving matches. Oh, I like, straight up like wrestled and fist fought people over games sometimes. <laughs> I mean, when I was younger. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, it sounds stupid, but I mean, those are still friends I have to this day. Yeah. And that's the thing is like, I, that's where I feel like they just jumped. Like, we all remember that era. We love that era. And there's nothing wrong with meeting friends online. Like, there's a lot of friends that the three of us have met just in the last six months of us, or five months really, of us doing this. Like, there's a lot of friends we've met online strictly from just playing online. Like, and these are friends that we catch up with in our Discord all the time, or like, we'll play with occasionally. Like, literally, Markomatic Massive. I don't know if he's still in the chat, but that's how I met him. Like, I literally jumped into a random Apex match one day, and all of a sudden, th there's a guy I'm partnered with in duos. I'm like, hey man, you got a mic? And, and like he was like yeah i got one what's up man and that, literally just from hey you got a mic to where we are today where we, we try and play when we can we talk all the time like it it's it, it they, like there's nothing wrong with how they've evolved yeah i just think that from the 360 to the one it was such a ramp up to where they where we are today like we went from playing with your friends in person land parties literally sweating pounds away because you have all of these electronics on in one room hoping your breaker box doesn't blow to picking up the sticks and texting your buddy saying hey you hopping on and your buddy lives three hours behind you in time like and you're like he's like yeah i'm gonna hop on or whatever like whatever it may be whatever the scenario you want to play out there may be you know, you do have that opportunity you know now and there's nothing wrong with that at all I think that they ramped up too quickly, and I just wish we had an opportunity to do that today. Because, like, granted, all of us are PC players. I think Anderson's the only one who really has a console that he still uses. Uh, but it's difficult for us to take Damn. our console. No, no, no. I mean, I, I mean this in a good way. Like, you use your console, but we're all PC players. There's a point to this, I promise. We, we all have our PCs. We can't pick up our PCs and go. But if consoles really still had that mentality of like we want you to be able to play with your friends online and we want to be able to go have land parties like go pick up a case of dr pepper or code red or you know uh what was it game fuel uh the og game fuel you know back in the day and then take that and go to your friend's house like if we still had that i feel like a lot more people would be engaged to go get consoles today it wouldn't just be about like Ooh, buy the new xbox refrigerator or buy the brand new ps5 like we would have a lot more people engaged to go do that especially pc players who lived through that and really appreciated that at the time recognizing that we can go get into look we can go stay up till four o'clock in the morning and play it you know halo or whatever we want to play in our buddy's basement like i'm about to turn 30 this year and i would still be doing that if that was really like the the, the mentality behind it because it'd be a lot of fun that was there was so much fun behind that and i feel like we've lost that in these new modern consoles because they've drifted so far away from it from that ramp up to now it's just play with your friends yeah. online yeah with that also i mean you gotta recognize that during the time we grew up and everything like that it was the digital age so we straight up went from like analog and tape recorders to dvd and streaming so i mean the whole entirety of our lives growing up technology kind of did a major ramp up without any cause or correlation 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's cause and correlation to the technology and all that stuff. But like from our experience, I mean, I can tell you right now, I went from like a analog tape recorder and then CD, iPod, all the way, MP3, iPod, and all that stuff. And now I got a phone that can just play anything it wants. On exactly. So, yep. I mean, and it <clears throat> this happened in the span of like 10, 20 years. So, yeah. The late 90s and the early 2000s is a wild time for technology. So, yeah, yeah I kind of figured most, uh, it, it kind of goes to show that, yeah, you're going to lose some social aspect when technology ramps up to that kind of like level from the previous level it was yeah and i mean take back nothing back from back, that. back in our days the way to discover music was listening to the radio now you can just go online and find it or just go and on spotify you 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 want to uh you want a voicemail ring back tone you hold your phone to the radio and you get a recording yeah <laughs> <laughs> you record uh, that no, you're like oh no that's not good so you got to wait for the next one to come on the radio then oh, okay and, got uh, it <laughs> I think for my, my closing remark to this, because we've been talking about this for a hot minute, but I, I think for my closing personal closing remark is to kind of capitalize on everything we've discussed and really bring it full circle is today, I do not want to take anything away from the fact that, you know, you hear and you see these heartwarming situations where you've got friends who met online and they've been gaming together for years. And they've never met and then they fly hundreds or if not thousands of miles away to go meet their gaming buddies and like it's like they've been it's like they grew up together it's, mm -hmm. and that's amazing like that that in and of itself is fantastic and and i do want to say like yes it took the social aspect away but it didn't at the same time it took away a physical social aspect and gave us a, a an online social aspect in a healthy manner of being able to grow our friend group but i do wish truly that we still had the opportunity to be able to do land parties as easily as we did back in the 360 days but that's just me i yeah. mean i also have that one friend in my like xbox uh list that was like uh this this is like the saddest aspect of it is like we were playing uh, i think it was a black ops game or something like that together because he wanted to play and i was just like you know what i'm down to chill with the bro and then one night he was just like bro i'm going through some stuff uh, i I'll, don't know when i'll be back but i'll sign off and never saw him again that's also well, a sad man. aspect to it yeah yeah I mean, there's positive and negatives to everything. Not, not nothing is black and white. It's always a gray area, pretty yeah. much. I'd say overall, though, like you know, the Xbox Live is really what kind of propelled a lot of what we have to, or like you know, conjured up a lot of what we have today. So I mean, you know, nobody else is really thinking, oh, you know, we can do this, you know, kind of chat system and. Yeah. you know being able to yeah. Microsoft talk to anybody so that whole aspect I mean yep. yes Sony followed along later but they weren't the forerunners <laughs> no uh, I mean if I don't think it like you know and we kind of touched on this earlier you know Dreamcast did have like the modem built into it but I think they were a little too early for their time and then once the original Xbox came out you know where that we had internet speeds that can somewhat support you know the ability to do basically what we're doing right now is talking mm -hmm. uh, and playing games together and everything like that like that's what really kind of propelled that and you know and that's definitely changed the world forever and i think overall for the better yeah it, it, mean, it truly is like crazy a, to think just look at 2020 i mean we were able to survive it just using purely like zoom meetings and stuff like that that wouldn't have been able to exist without like xbox and microsoft doing what they did back in the day it, it's all built it all builds up yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah mama stragas in chat it saying uh, <clears throat> go ahead i was saying mama stragas in chat saying my oldest friend is in canada i still haven't met him irl and then Kay followed up with same. He's in Boston, but we haven't met, had the chance to meet up. I've known him over 20 years. Yeah. I think, yeah. So that's like OG Xbox days. Yeah. Yeah. Like 20 years. That's a whole ass lifetime for some people. Yeah. Yeah. No, what I was going to say was it's crazy to think about how much Family we've, we've lived through. It's crazy to think how much we've lived through <clears throat> in the technical, like the, the, just the, the digital age. Like we went from analog to digital so fast in our lifetime. And, and that also makes me wonder, like, you know, I'm 29 years old and in 29 years of life, I started gaming when I was like, what, 
13. So in 16 years, I've seen that much change where I went from a literal USB stick to plug into my computer and put maybe 10 songs on because that's all that would fit to having what, like, what thing like 500 gigs or whatever the storage or 256 gigs on the um on the S21 Ultra that I can just listen to music wherever I go, like things like that. And then you you use an Anderson's reference earlier from of course, but then like looking at it from the gaming side of things, just how much that's changed. Think about the next you know yeah, 20 like, years. How much is gonna ramp up? We went from like GBA, like this kind of stuff to a whole ass PC system. Mm-hmm. So I mean, and it it was a process of like ten years. Yep. Insane. Well, I think uh I think that's it. Unless y'all yeah. got some else. No, I didn't even know I had this game. Mm. Well, you too. We said it earlier. We're gonna say it again. If you like this, hit the like button. And hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, so you stay up to date on all things TGB. Please. Uh, this is also a great opportunity for you to see that you can come hang out with us on Sunday nights for the podcast, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, uh, 7 Central, 6 Mountain, and 5 Pacific. Good job. How long did you practice that? I didn't. That was off the top of the dome. Hey, yo. Of that. Good job. Um, so... Uh, but come hang out with us. We, we love having everybody come hang out with us. And you do not have to be like the lovely individuals who literally gifted 30 subs. And how many bits? 1,500. 1,500 bits. You you don't have to do that. If you no, you can to, just come hang out. They're they're insane. A good insane, but insane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you if you want to, you can. But uh, you, we just appreciate people coming and hanging out with us. That's what this is about. That's what we do. Is have fun doing this for all of you. Um, and yes, as we also said earlier, because at this point you've heard everything in this episode, that all of that money is going to be sent right back to you all through some fun stuff that we have cooking up here in the next few months. So. With that said, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon. Everyone on Twitch, go ahead and hit the follow button if you haven't. If you're new to the show, I know there's a lot of people who are going to be getting subs going, who is this? <laughs> <laughs> so hit the follow button and come hang out yeah. with us. Come uh, by and find out. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to have you with us, of course. Um, tomorrow night, Sam will be uh, streaming his solo playthrough Tuesday night. I'll be doing mine. And then we'll be all back together next Saturday for some uh, fun playthrough action. So we're going to sign up on YouTube. Have our, we have also have our YouTube videos coming out all week long. So you can also tune into those. Correct. Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays, you can check us on YouTube. Uh, we have a lot of videos coming out every week. So check out those. Drop likes on those as well. Let us know what you like to see on YouTube. We will catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.